Hello everybody, welcome back. Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset. We're going to roll down to Chattanooga, going to talk to the National Hall of Fame coach, head coach Gary Rankin with the Boy Buchanan Buccaneers. How you doing, coach? Doing pretty good, Stuart. Thank you. Uh, well, and I'm all, I, I just kind of kicked it off. I didn't want to go into a big scenario, but uh, you had a chance to go up to Boston to uh, – to go into the National High School Football Hall of Fame. Uh, you're sitting on 476 wins, leaning toward 500, and uh, what a big honor, Coach. It was, and it was uh, it was much more than I expected once I got there. Of course, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I never had done a lot of research on it until I got the call, but it was so much bigger and, and, and just so much. I was blown away when I got there. Uh, they way, the way they did everything, and just the people who were being nominated that year. Uh, you know, Takeo Spikes, a great linebacker that played for, I guess, Auburn maybe, and then uh, there was just so many impressive people that were put into it and so many people that had been put into it through the years. It's a, it's a pretty exclusive group. Uh, I don't think there's but 14 people from Tennessee in it in the last 30 or 40 years. So I was uh, blessed, lucky, whatever, to be put in there, and I certainly uh, appreciated it and, uh, you know, really, really enjoyed the trip. So I guess Reggie White and Spurrier, and you're in you're in with those guys. Spurrier, uh, you know, you name somebody all over the country and they're in there, and, you know, it's um, – it's a pretty, pretty, pretty hard group to get in, and you know I'm not, I don't know who all the Tennessee people are exactly right off the top of my head, but there's not many. So I was honored, and uh, I was certainly appreciative. As you as you flew up, and as you're making the trip, and you're thinking about all the people that were involved to help you get there, besides a supporting wife and family and everything, and all the days you got up and you've gone out early and. And, and done this thing and, and 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 the long hard hours you put into it it really you know it was probably a, a deep reflection on on just looking back on all the work you've done and and the success you've had there's, there's no doubt I mean my, our whole family got to make the trip and uh, we got to do a lot of things and you know I've been fortunate I've been able to stay healthy and coach for a long time and you know to me it's always been a hobby it hadn't been a job. Uh, of course, it's been hard work at times, but, you know, I could retire 10 or 15 years ago if I chose to, but this is what I do with my free time. I don't fish. I don't hunt. Uh, you know, I coach football and spend time with my family. So, uh, you know, I've just been fortunate to be able to keep doing it and, and been able to hire some good people and, and be in places where where football was important. And uh, it, it's just been a tremendous ride for me. Well, and Coach, you know, sometimes when you're sitting there and you're thinking about it and you're thinking, well, I, I got some things I could be doing or I could, you know, like you said, ride your bicycle more or travel with your wife and spend time with her or do something. Then as the time starts to get closer and you know it's that time of year and it leans on the fall of, of, of if you're getting there in July and August and you know, well, it's time, you know, the kids be coming back. They're going to let us off the break and let us have our hands on them. Let us let us get them in and see what we can, you know, see what we got. That that joy, well, that I, energy is just unbelievable as you build up to this Friday night. Yeah, and I still I still enjoy working with the kids, and I don't know somehow I've stayed in contact with them, and I haven't lost. Uh, you know, uh, I understand the kids. I've changed with the times, like everybody has, but. You know, the basic things haven't changed over time. So, um, you know, it's just been a joy to me. And like I say, I have fun. I'm, I'm really excited about this Friday night. Our kids are excited. Uh, so it's just something that I look forward to every year. And, you know, I guess other people look forward to going to Spain or Italy or somewhere. But this is the kind of things that I look forward to and I get it, I enjoy. So, uh, like I say, just been blessed to be able to do it this long. Well, and when you, you know, as you prepare and get ready for Friday night, you know, everybody's, you know, whether it's the, trying to make sure all the batteries charge for the video equipment and, and you got plenty and the water and the food and the meals and all the logistics that go into it from start to finish on a Friday morning till, you know, 12 o'clock at night when you start to trade video to get ready for the next next game. I mean, that, that whole circus that goes on, 
There's nothing like it. People people that are involved in it will tell you it's one of the greatest rides in the world, and I've been fortunate to be around it for 24 years, and you've been around it a lot longer than me, but there's something special about it, especially in the state of Tennessee. I mean, we're not the biggest and the baddest, but we have a lot of day going fun on Friday night, Coach. Yeah, and it's important, and like I say, I've been blessed with, with getting great help, and I've learned to delegate enough, de- delegate enough stuff that I don't kill myself during the week. And on Friday night, so, uh, you know, I'd like to say I've been blessed. I've enjoyed it, and I hope I can do it a couple more years maybe. Heck of a ride last year for the Boyd Buchanan Buccaneers, and I congratulate you there on that ride as you made it to the state championship. You went up against, as we said in the spring show, you know, all those seniors and everything, and that's in the chapter books. But uh, as we prepare for the Boyd Buchanan 2024, what you got on offense, and what do you like, Coach, about this group of kids coming back? Well, last year was, like I say, probably one of the – it was the biggest surprise that I've had in my 40 years of coaching. Uh, It was such a great ride and such a great journey at that time. But, you know, looking back now, it probably wasn't a good thing for us because people think that we're there and we're not there. Uh, We got there last year, and I know they've got us ranked way up there high right now. And, uh, you know, we're just an average team right now trying to get better. Um you know, we've got some kids back, but we lost some good seniors like everybody else. Uh, our strength of our, our strength of our team right now is probably in our offensive line and our running backs, and we've got most of those kids back. We lost very heavy on defense, so that's going to be a that's going to be a challenge for us. But uh, you know, our league's pretty tough. Uh, these private school leagues are pretty tough. They have good players. All of them have great coaches. So there's not really many Friday nights that are that are gimmies that you can sort of catch your breath a little bit. So uh, we don't have as much depth as we'd like, but I'm sure that's the same thing that a a lot of coaches are saying. So we'll just have to see how it goes. If we can stay healthy, we can get a little luck here and there. Hopefully we can have another good year. You know, and uh, so have you been able to stay healthy as as the team's been working here? As We We have. We have so far. Yeah, we have so far. You know, we had some good scrimmages. We scrimmaged three 6A teams. We scrimmaged Riverdale. Uh, Cleveland and uh, McMinn County. So we went, you know, we tried to test ourselves pretty good in the preseason, and our kids hung in there, and we held our own in all three of those scrimmages. So, uh, and we thought all three of those teams would probably be, uh, you know, as good or better than most of the teams on our schedule. So we're certainly battle tested right now going into the season, and we'll see how it goes. Boy, it's been a long time since you walked on that uh, field there at Tomahawk Stadium, hadn't it? Oh, yeah, it's been a long time, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, um, and as as you get ready for Chattanooga prep, uh, and, of course, you just got vanilla film going against these guys, but uh, what 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 do you see, I mean, that you like on film about these well, guys and where they're dangerous? Prep, prep's so athletic, and, and uh, you know, they've got probably as many athletes as most of the schools in Chattanooga. You know, they won the basketball state championship this year, and I think they might have been runner-up the year before. So they've got a lot, a lot of good kids. I don't think they've had a senior. This is their first senior class. So those guys in that school have done a tremendous job. Uh, uh, when they come out on the field tomorrow on Friday night, I mean, you won't be able to tell who the favorite is for sure. They're super athletic, and uh, they can certainly do a lot of things with the football that scares you. So. Uh, it's certainly a really good opener for us. Yeah, and, and like you said, with your team being young, being at home, that's going to give you a little bit of advantage, but that's going to wear off fast, and, you know, it's going to get down real quick to see, you know, whether or not you got got enough uh, got enough guys on your side of the field to beat their guys. Yeah, we got spoiled a little last year. We had a lot of home games, and we got in the playoffs, and there was an upset or two and, and allowed us to play all our playoff games at home, so – uh, we've sort of been spoiled a little bit about playing at home. Well, uh, Coach, I can't thank you enough for joining us. Good luck Friday night. We look forward to talking to you. We've still got you on the schedule. We're looking forward to trying to come down and see you. But uh, uh, And uh, hope things are going well. And uh, we'll talk to you soon on Inside the Headset. Thank you, Storm. I appreciate you calling. Thank you. You're welcome, Coach. <laughs>